So we've got comedian, comedian, comedian. What's what's up with that? <laughs> Is that like the female word for comedian? I might want to get that checked out, man. <laughs> Don't sound good. Oh gee, I wonder how this is gonna go. I've heard enough. So you are the ones. Oh, I fat so. Look who we got here. Is it just me, or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Uh, pretty straightforward. Leave the puffins alone. Worms they sold the Iraq Emil fuck. Called him an ormonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then, every time they fought. Ha 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 ha, clever. Leave the puffins alone. Aye, we will. Alone. What the hell? Black magic. He's a fucking witch. Get him! Really? I couldn't get all of them with it? I've gotten multiple people before. I figured that would work. Whoa, what the? Why did you put your sword away? I was pressing the block button. Oh, I didn't kill them? Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them! One, two over the back, then pow right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you! Very much. Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right. And don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations, and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Well, you guys are swell. Just cough it out, dude. Cough it out. You'll be all right. <laughs> well, well, pauper with a library. Imagine that. Vile times when beggars who put letters together foul their minds. The fire will cleanse them all. I never understood what what the deal with book burnings was. Like, why? What's wrong with reading? What makes reading a bad thing? Save me. I'm dying. Welcome. What can I get the honourable gentleman? New poo lanes, perchance? I've not got a true pair, but they'll be the same size. Uh, what? Fine. Show me what you got. So, what don't I got? <laughs> Something for everyone. Seek and you shall find. Cheap, too. How about alcohol? You have no alcohol. I have a bunch of useless junk. Eh. <sighs> Thanks. Come again. Cheap as it gets, right here. I'm dying of poverty. Seriously, there's got to be someone I can get some alcohol from. Is cherry cordial really that? rare and choice a thing. Like, I know nothing about alcohol, but it doesn't sound like something that's super rare. Seriously, just one more cherry cordial. Like, you're seriously telling me that there was only one bottle of cherry cordial in the entire town of Novigrad. 
Forgive me for finding that a mite bit hard to believe. Eternal fire protects us. These monsters for shit dying. Uh, well, something to talk about. I just got back from visiting with the lady friend. And I, um... While I was on my way there, like, I, like I've said, she lives like two minutes away from me. And I cut through some yards in a street to get there. But, uh... Yeah. Do you have alcohol? But I was on my way to see her, but and when I started it. cutting through the court, uh, no one to push. Oh. Very good. Manners before trade, always. And when I cut through the court that I let me have a look. Always cut through to get there. And there was a man outside mowing his lawn. Oh, you, you have some alcohol, but not the one I need. Screw you. Screw this entire city. Screw this entire game. But a man was mowing his lawn, and he he stopped as I was passing, and he yelled to me, When are you gonna marry her? And I just kind of stopped in my tracks and was like, What? And he just walks over to me and says, So when are you gonna marry her? You're going to see your lady, right? And I was like, Yeah, um... I mean, you know, we've talked about it, but don't really have anything hammered out yet. And we just had a nice little conversation. He just said how I've been watching you come through this court on your way to see her for years now. So I was just wondering. And I was just like, oh, well, that's, that's really nice of you. <laughs> and I just thought that was the coolest thing that I'd never really even considered that, you know, that that the people of that neighborhood have been watching me come through their court on my way to see my girlfriend for the past six years. So without even knowing me, he just put that together and has been watching me go back and forth to and from her house, sometimes with her, for the past six years. And so he was just wondering, when am I going to marry her? So I just thought that was really nice and cool that that happened. <clears throat> Who are you preaching to, buddy? Uh, I've already checked him. He doesn't have it. I really do kind of wish that your health would just regenerate itself outside of combat, so I wouldn't have to keep doing that. But I do not hold it against the game. Is there a merchant in here? Oh, right, her. Um, now I'm not an expert, but I don't think the way you were standing just then was very stable. Hello, madame. So, a bit of lust in your freakish heart after all. Not quite. Got anything to sell? No. Uh, come on. Come on. Where do I have to go? So long. I've been to like every tavern and inn and brothel and merchant in this town and nobody has it. It's a material world. I don't think I can craft my own cherry cordial. What the hell am I supposed to do? This is the worst. Uh, 
that while I was with my girlfriend just now, we were just sitting on her back deck eating some of her Japanese candy and um, just looking at stuff on her phone. And it got dark and we were just chilling out there and it was pretty quiet out and suddenly we just heard really clearly and really closely a uh I'm not even sure how to describe it the sound of something eating something like a kind of a kind of sound and it was creepy as hell and we went inside <laughs> because obviously what it was probably was I'm like 98 percent sure it was just like a squirrel with a nut you know it was that kind of sound but Apparently, she told me that they are they have a cemetery in their backyard. Like, there's just a fence, and then their backyard just opens up into a cemetery. Or that's I don't think that's very accurate to say. Just it's, there's their backyard, then a fence, then cemetery. And there's a walk path through the cemetery that goes right by the fence that uh, borders their backyard. And she said that, however long ago there was a man who would walk down that path and then just stop and look at their house just all creepy like without any reason and apparently it only happened once or twice but the second or third time it happened apparently her mom decided to just go out onto the deck and stare back at him and then he left and they hadn't seen him since but apparently that guy was the first thought that went through her head and so she got really creeped out and wanted to go inside the second thought she had was of Hannibal Lecter <laughs> I suppose we're not done fighting yet. There are so many words going on right now, I can't even tell who's saying what. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metina. Killer Instinct versus Primal Rage! <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys really from Nilfgaard? We's from plowing Metina, damn it! Oh, Nilfgaard! Raised by wild hands on the windswept plains of Magdara! Brothers, forged in bloodshed, veterans of Metina's infamous filthy arenas! Who dares face the wild men of the south? Who will look the beasts in the eye? Okay. <laughs> I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Lead us to kick some ass on stage. I actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking is what we do. I mean, hmm. it's not like I can't spare the money, but I wonder which one would be more likely to sway him. I'm guessing both will, but I'm thinking do this way. If I just pay them, then who knows, maybe they won't feel very much loyalty. If I actually beat them in the fight and get some degree of loyalty from them, maybe it'll be that much better a deal. And I could always use some more exercise, so what the hell. How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me gratis. See, Hal's no fan of money. Fail robots. Stay in the please. Do you need something special to convince him? Here's an idea. Take us both on. Same time. Fire the century. A with dragon of metal. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll 
Alright, bring it on. <laughs> 